hi you guys welcome back okay so i did an impromptu palette declutter what i know right me getting rid of a palette mm -mm, that's like unheard of okay if you guys are familiar with me or <laughs> familiar with my channel you know i love palettes okay and it is very very hard for me to let palettes go get rid of palettes. unless it's just like absolute trash it's hard for me to let a palette go and because i have tried so many palettes over the years i've gotten a lot better in my mind <laughs> um with not choosing trash palettes or not buying trash palettes so i typically don't have a lot of palettes to get rid of and declutter and all that stuff every year because for the most part i'm kind of happy with my collection where it is right now but as i was going through my collection it was like yeah you can go you can go you need to go because since i do have quite an eclectic collection there are just certain palettes i am not going to reach for there you know it's like because of such amazing single shadows indie palettes just you know beautiful options that i have there's certain palettes i'm just not gonna reach for so enough of the yap 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 and y'all get it y'all know it's time so these are palettes that i was able to say goodbye to it's not necessarily to say they're horrible palettes not by any means but it's just palettes that i know i'm never i'm never gonna reach for so i already took them out i'm not going through my whole collection if you guys have seen my videos on my palette collections then you already know it's way too much for me to sit here and go through each one so i went through pulled out the palettes that i'm definitely getting rid of giving up and when i do declutters like this i give my palettes to my nieces to my daughter you know family members and stuff like that i don't give them away to strangers because you know for sanitary reasons and the such and i don't like giving away used stuff to other people only family okay so some of these palettes actually have never been touched never been used but i still give it to family first so anyway let's jump right in okay because this intro can be as long as i don't know what so i'm just going to start grabbing palettes that I am decluttering and <laughs> showing them to you, giving you a little bit of the reason why. So these first two palettes are from Beauty Creations. These were part of their mini pro palette set. It was a set of four different palettes. You can buy them all together or individually. I bought the whole set of four because I was like, ah, oh, Beauty Creations, affordable, cute little color stories. I'll do a video on those. Needless to say, never got around to it. So I've had these palettes for, I'm sure, over a year. I don't even remember when I bought them, but I decided to keep two and decided to declutter two. The two I decided to keep is a really pretty purple one and a really pretty kind of like orangey red sunset vibe one. So the two I'm getting rid of is volume three. And this is what volume three looks like, <laughs> as you can see basic neutral palette with your pops of blue so this one's kind of easy for me to let go not a big deal and then this one is volume two which although it is kind of pretty it's not something that i would reach for instead of a lot of other palettes that i already have so this one is going to go as well okay so <laughs> I talked about this palette um, in one of my videos, I think where, I don't know, I was just talking about different palettes, like why did I buy them or something like that. Um, but this is one of the palettes that I really didn't want to get rid of. I can't think about it too hard because I will keep it. <laughs> this is the Pixie by Petra. Um, It's called the Dream Shadow Palette, Eye Enchanter. So this is what it looks like. And there's, you know, a nice little array of shades in here, but for some reason I cannot bring myself to use this. I don't, I think honestly, it just lacks the depth that I look for in a palette. It just has no razzle dazzle to it. And as much as I wanna try Pixie Shadows, because I never have, 
I, this has got to go. I'd rather let somebody else use this because I'm not going to use it. Okay, these next two palettes, I really wanted to try them out because I wanted to try the brand. Bought these, I'm sure, showed them in a haul or something because I really wanted to try them out. These are from Essence, very affordable drugstore <laughs> drugstore brand. This one is called Good Day Sydney, and this is what it looks like. They have, you know, pretty basic, simple, kind of familiar color stories, but... You know, like I said, I just have other palettes that I would reach for before this one. This one is called Chow Venezia. Very, very cute packaging. And like I said, it's like I can't think about these too long because if I do, I will find a reason to keep them. You know, because I am a content creator, I'm always like, oh, maybe I should keep that just to compare it to something else one day, or I might need to reference something one day, or I might want to do, you know, a full face drugstore one day. And it's like, child, you got drugstore palettes that you would pick before that. So <laughs> just let them go. So those two are going. I also have some of my Revolution palettes in here okay i have a decent revolution collection but some of their honey some of their stuff uh-uh and if you love these palettes please do not feel like i'm saying anything about these palettes is trash garbage none of that it's just certain palettes that i know i'm never going to use or maybe i tried it swatched it whatever and it didn't float my boat so if it's your favorite I am so happy that it's your favorite because, you know, we all have different tastes. So this one is the Foil Frenzy Fusion. So it is a completely, you know, foil shimmer type palette. This one here, I think, did I do a video using this? This is, this, this is the Foil Frenzy Hybrid. I might have used this in a video and I was really, really disappointed. <laughs> really disappointed not sure but i know i used it not happy um and this one i don't think i even tried it's called the reloaded passion for color of course looking at it you could see why it would interest me but yeah it's just a little bit too blah so i'm going to let these three go next i have this one this one is kind of hard it's the frida kahlo and ulta beauty collab well yeah, I mean, it's not a collab palette. It's just inspired by Frida Kahlo. And I love Frida Kahlo. So, oh, don't think about it too long. KK, don't think about it too long. And my girl, Lily, she did a video using this. And her eye look was absolutely gorgeous. Uh... <laughs> ah! This is a, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. But only for sentimental reasons, because I had to extensively study her when I was going to college. And it just kind of, you know, I kind of have a little, mm. so I don't know. That's a maybe, y'all. That's a maybe. Okay. These two here, easy to let go. I hate that I bought them. Easy to let go. This one is Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. Um, yeah, I guess that's it gorgeous packaging it's kind of like that fluffy not really fluffy but you know padded type of packaging very beautiful but honey no no i'm never going to use that it's gotta go this is the urban decay naked heat i've had this for quite a while only used it once never gonna use this again it can go uh <laughs> I don't know. I probably have a few palettes in here actually that I got from BoxyCharm. So let me just see if I can pull those right quick. Um, sometimes I try to hold on to the palettes I get from BoxyCharm because you know I could do a video, full face BoxyCharm, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, no, these can go. I have other palettes from BoxyCharm. This is the Barbarella. I don't know if you guys remember this palette from one of my Boxy videos. And it was just such a disappointment when I opened this. <laughs> it's like, why? Why? Even if you wanted to do a neutral palette with just a pop of blue and green, it could have been like half this size, a third of this. You know, like all of this is just so unnecessary. So yeah, this one has got to go. 
And the thing is, there are some people that love neutral palettes. All they want is neutral palettes because that's all they wear. So that would be perfect for somebody like that. This one is the Carity Picante. Is it Picante? Yeah, Picante. And that's Carity, not to be confused with Clarity. So this palette, I kept it for a while because I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. You know, maybe I want to do a red little sunset look or whatever, but too many palettes I have in my collection that I will pull before this. I really don't care for the Carity formula, so I don't want it. This one is the Illuminati Times Issa, Isabel Bedoya. Got this in a boxy charm, and it's like when you look at it, it kind of looks like it has potential. You know, it kind of looks like, hmm, you know what? Uh, maybe. But the more I look at it, it's like, nah, there's nothing that I would reach for in this. I mean, these are cute, but no, not worth me using this palette just for one try when I can give it to somebody perfectly brand new and they can really enjoy it. No, so that is going. Okay, listen, I do not know why it was so difficult for me when I was going through my profusion palettes. I mean, well, I, I look, I love profusion, okay? Profusion, very affordable. You can buy them at Walmart, online, on their website. I love their color stories. You know, their their formula is, is decent. It's good enough. Like, if you are just... <laughs> if you haven't used an extensive amount of eyeshadows and you don't need extreme pigment and extreme super duper shimmer shine like I do, <laughs> then they really are. They're decent palettes. I really, really love them. And I mean, I could sit down and do a fire look with Profusion palettes, but I don't know why it's so hard for me to let them go. So when it comes to Profusion, out of the... <laughs> I don't know, 10, 15 palettes I have, I was only able to let go of two. And this first one here, the Confidence Palette, I'm able to let this go because of the fact that while this is a gorgeous color story, a really nice palette, actually, I've created some nice looks with this. I have other palettes with this color story that is just more pigmented, more vibrant, you know, easier for me to use. So that's why I am letting this go, but it is not a bad palette by far. And this next one here, which is the Paradise palette, oh, it's still hard for me to let this go because this color story, y'all. I can't look at it too long because I will change my mind and I'm not even playing. I will change my mind because blues, purples, greens, all that stuff gets me every single time. But I have about four other Profusion palettes with these same colors in it, so I can let this one go. Okay, this next palette here, honestly, it's not hard for me to let this go. This is the only palette that I was able to grab when Blush Tribe was still Blush Tribe, you know, before they turned into, what is it, Mayali beauty i don't know but i have some of those palettes as well but this was the only blush tribe palette that i was able to grab i was actually given <laughs> very very sweet i was actually given the paulina palette i wanted it so bad and beautiful beautiful um instagrammer that does like swatches and everything for palettes she was like i'm not using mine you can have it so i love that palette <laughs> but um, of course i'm not getting rid of that but this one i don't know i tried using it a good three times and obviously it's not the color story i don't know what it is about this formula that i just I'm never happy when I use this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. And it's really not that difficult because they're not a brand anymore. And even her new brand, uh, I hope I'm not saying it wrong, Mayali Beauty is no longer a brand. So I guess she's not doing makeup anymore. So I can let that go. Now, these palettes here, 
very cute very gorgeous this one is the mirage palette it's a pressed pigment palette by color story i picked this up from target and mm, i used this palette twice really really pretty gorgeous color story the shimmers are really pretty i don't want to start swatching because i'll be here all day but very very pretty palette i think the pricing on these palettes if i'm not mistaken is this 20 dollars or 10 i hope it's 10 because for some reason i'm thinking it's 20 and to me that's too high for these palettes i'm hoping it's 10 dollars <laughs> Even 15 is high, and I'm thinking it might be like 15 or $20 for these is high. Definitely drugstore quality, but you can create a beautiful look with these, but definitely drugstore quality. So that's gonna go another Color Story palette. This one is called Bright Blooms. <laughs> this one's a little difficult for me to let go, and you guys are gonna see why. Okay, the packaging is gorgeous, as you can see. But look at this palette y'all dang it should i keep this i was so strong last night when i was pulling these palettes i was like nope you going nope you going mm, gotta go uh-uh you going and now i'm looking at them like mm. dang is this going into maybe with the frida Kahlo palette it's so pretty the reason why I was okay with decluttering this is because I have the beautiful um, Glam Light palettes, um, Plan and Makeup by Yolando palettes, so many amazing just indie brand palettes where the pigmentation is out of this world. So it's kind of like, why am I keeping this when I'm never going to reach for it just because it's pretty? Mm, you know, it's got to go. It's got to go. I'm gonna be strong, you guys. This one is from Makeup Obsessions, Crystal Waves. I actually have not had this one that long. I bought this one not too long ago. Really pretty, light pastel type palette, but this palette, when it arrived, is a lot lighter to me than it was online when I was choosing it. I knew it was pastel, but this is like pastel, pastel, okay? <laughs> like... Mm, no so yeah this one I'm gonna go ahead and let go because when I think of like nice pastel palettes that I can use I think of my Wasi Shana palette from Planet Makeup by Yolando my beautiful um ice cream shop palette from Glam Light like I don't need this palette okay so that's gotta go Oh, this is another palette I got from BoxyCharm. I don't even know what this is, okay? This is by Caprice. And, it, I mean, it's like, okay, yeah, they shimmery, but what do I need this for? I, 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 no. So, yeah, I just gotta go. Oh, I got another one here that I got from BoxyCharm. This is from Ciate London. This one is the Editor Palette, New England. I actually thought about keeping this just because of the fact that I don't have um, Ciate London palettes. And this one, you know, it actually looks kind of pretty. It has a decent color story and I kind of would like to try. <laughs> I know. Listen, I already know which one of you guys are sitting out there like, KK, if you don't quit keeping them palettes, but I only kept one so far, I'm doing good, okay? But this color story is kind of pretty, isn't it? Y'all let me know down in the comments, okay? I'm going to put this to the side. But y'all let me know if you've used this palette, if it's any good, okay? Because if it is, I'll hold on to it. But if you've used it and you like, girl, let that go, I'm going to let it go, okay? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So this palette here is from Bombshell Cosmetica. I think they had like a whole scandal thing going on or whatever if I'm not mistaken. If this is not the same brand, then Lord forgive me. But <laughs> I could have swore they were the ones that had the little fruit palettes and stuff that had that wasn't sending people their palettes and stuff. Is that true? I don't know. Y'all let me know. But this was the Fresh Baked Chocolate Chip Cookie Palette. Real cute. You know, real cute. Gimmicky. But the color story 
for this palette super super pretty and you know I did a video on this if you're curious but yeah the color story is really pretty not anything you know innovative or astronomical or anything but and the shadows are actually really pretty but yeah I need to let this go I do I just I don't want it anymore so I'm gonna let it go now this palette here uh, it's kind of hard for me mm, why did I pull this why did I pull this it's so pretty this is the Urban Decay Elements palette I've had it for a while it came out quite a while ago so gorgeous you know it's not easy to store because it is a circle as you can see but it's a very pretty palette you know kind of colorful you know um dang i don't even know if i've used this palette i know i've swatched it to check it out but have i even used this The packaging is so gorgeous, day. Be strong, girl. Be strong. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. <laughs> it's gotta go. Okay. Now this next palette. The only reason why I'm giving this one away is because I have two. Okay. My goofy behind bought two of these because I wanted one um, for my little Barbie display and I wanted one to use. Okay. So this is the Pure Times Barbie. Look at that. Really gorgeous, like textured palette. This one, was this the first one? Endless Possibilities. Gorgeous palette, gorgeous. Beautiful, you can see there, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, beautiful colors in here. It is, it smells like chocolate or vanilla or something, I don't know, but it smells good. <laughs> I'm giving this away because I don't need to and somebody else can be enjoying it. So yeah, I'm going to declutter this. Next, I have the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. Another palette that I'm like, why did I buy that? <laughs> I talked about this in my Too Faced palette video. I mean, it's it's pretty. It's just not for me. You know what I mean? This wasn't this when they created this palette. They did not have me in mind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, not at all. So that one's gotta go okay these two kind of tough kind of tough because listen these are like nostalgic okay we got the Too Faced chocolate chocolate bar and the sweet peach okay it's like but I know I'm just holding on to them just for that reason for nostalgia reasons I do not use these never should have bought them to be quite honest with you but it still smells like chocolate that's crazy but yeah it, it, they gotta go they gotta go this one the sweet peach this one is it is hard because my daughter bought me this but when I think about it my daughter she buys me makeup and stuff all the time and I can't possibly keep everything so I'm gonna let this go because I don't use it I'm not gonna use it so I'm gonna let it go now this one here is from Delancey. I did a video on this palette. This is the Mel Maelstrom. I believe that that means like, I don't know, like some kind of like tornado or hurricane or something in the ocean. I don't know. But that's what the palette looks like when you open it up. See, it looks like a storm, you know? So yeah, it's really, really pretty. But these are the colors in here. So basically like your red, your purple, you have your black to smoke it out and then some random shades over here. So, I mean, honestly, I like Delancey palettes. I do, they're not bad, decent for the price. And this is a really pretty color story, but I'm never gonna reach for this, so it can go. Okay, now this palette here, mm, I kind of went back and forth on. This is a Ulta in essence collab type palette it's called girls united they had these on their website and you know on sale and stuff like that what it was was they had selected some young ladies that collabed on a little makeup collection that you could purchase and part of the proceeds i believe went to helping them with furthering their education so of course it was an excellent cause to purchase these items. I think I bought the lip glosses and the palette. 
really really cute but you know it's a decent palette but not something that i need in my collection at all they're actually you know magnetic so you can take these out but yeah i'm never gonna reach for this so i'm gonna let it go now this palette here i grabbed this palette so fast so i i definitely am ready to let it go this is the urban decay distortion eyeshadow palette i've only used this a few times maybe two or three times it <laughs> It's a cute concept. It's just, when you sit down with it, it could be just a little bit like, okay, what do I wanna do? You know what I'm saying? Cause these shadows up here are kinda like topper type shadows, but like when you place them, I shouldn't be swatching, but like when you place them like on top of dark shadows and stuff, the color will pop a little more and kind of shift and stuff like that. But I've had this for so long, I never use it. It can go. Okay, next I have this Lorac palette. I blame my girl Lily for this. I blame her for this. This is the Shine Bright Pro Eyeshadow Palette. It was one of their like holiday palettes from a couple years ago or something, I think. It has a brush in here. This is what this palette looks like now. I purchased this palette because I had never tried any Lorac shadows, wanted to try their shadows, and was wondering about their formula, obviously, because the color story is nothing to write home about, not for me at least. So, you know, my girl was like, yeah, it's, girl, their formula is bomb, try it out, woo, woo, woo. It probably is, but honey, I'll never know, <laughs> not from this palette, cause this palette is like, I open it up and it puts me to sleep. I'm talking snooze fest, okay? So yeah, I just, I can't even get motivated to use this palette. I'm sorry, it's gotta go. This palette, ah, oh, dang. Uh, I'm, oh, I might have to keep this, you guys. And you guys, if you are familiar with me and my channel, you know why. This is the Too Faced Natural Love. <sighs> I mean, if I had purchased this palette, it would have been gone. Been gone. But my daughter gave me this for Mother's Day, okay? And I mean, you know? <laughs> so, even though it's a palette that I will never use, <laughs> It's like mm, Mother's Day, okay. Mm, this is going over here with Frida because child, I don't know about that. Okay, so I have here, yeah, a few of my more affordable palettes, okay. I'm coming down to the wire. I only got a few more, you guys. Okay, this is another Delancey palette. This is the Little Prince in Rose. I purchased this when I did like a little Amazon palette haul, just trying out, you know, sw actually swatching some of the, you know, affordable, cheaper palettes on Amazon, just to kind of take a look at them, see how they swatch. You know, if you're curious about those palettes on Amazon, you might at least want to see them in person or see them swatched out. So this was one of those palettes. Now, I don't even know if I ever used this palette. I might have used it once after doing that video. Um, Color Story is really, really pretty, really pretty. That's what gets me every time is the Color Story. I have to stop, I have to cut it out because I have this Color Story a million times over, okay? So I'm letting this go because even though it's pretty, I have too many other palettes that I would pick up before this, but it's a really cute palette though. This one I actually ordered, I saw them on Instagram. It's called Glam Doll Cosmetics, the Vibes palette. And it's definitely like one of those, what is it called, private label or something like that? <sighs> because after I purchased this palette, I saw another brand selling the exact same palette for a lot less. And so I got irritated because I was like, okay, I thought this was like a special palette, their own beautiful color story. But when I saw the other palette, I was like, oh, it's like, you know, private label. And then I used it and it was just okay. So it's not a horrible palette by any means, but 
definitely not something that I feel I need to keep in my collection at all. Pretty color story, but the formula is just very mediocre. This one here from Beauty Glazed, it's called the Reversal Palette. <laughs> Sometimes they have some of the strangest names, like why? Why is it called the Reversal Planet Palette? Anyway, <laughs> so this is from Beauty Glazed and I know that people were um, on that video telling me a lot about, you know, different issues that Beauty Glazed, um, I believe was having with having asbestos and stuff like that in some of their palettes. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know which palettes do or don't have them, but I've since pretty much, I think, gotten rid of all of my Beauty Glazed palettes except for this one. So very, very pretty color story. This one actually reminded me of the ColourPop and is it Kristen Lights palette? The color story really, really reminded me of that with a few extra shades thrown in. Very pretty palette, but I'm never going to use it, so this one can go. Another palette from Beauty Creations. This one is the Anna palette. <laughs> I was holding on to this one last giant Beauty Creations palette because I wanted to just have one of these in my collection, you know, as a comparison type thing, but it's kind of like, you know what? No, it's I, no, it's just taking up valuable space that another palette can be filling, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Too many bomb indie brands out here for me to be holding on to stuff I'm not gonna use. So, very, very pretty, gorgeous. These palettes are okay. They're okay. Um, they take a lot of building up at times. It's like they're inconsistent. I think some of the shadows are nicer, deeper, richer. Other shadows is like, you gotta build them up, build them up. And the shimmers are very, mediocre very lackluster and it's one of those things where you know when you try out certain palettes and you're like oh this is cool this is nice this is pretty but then you try out another palette you know different brand different price you know point and it's kind of like oh okay yeah this is not that great so that's kind of how i feel about these palettes they're decent for you to use i feel like for beginners if you are on a budget they work but you know if you can afford something a little bit better quality more aggressive a little bit you know <clears throat> richer and deeper in pigment i would say to go ahead and buy something else so she gonna go bye bye I only have two more, you guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm so proud of myself, okay? So, it's time. It is time. She's gotta go. I bought this palette when I first started my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for about four years now, okay? And have never, I don't even know if I've ever swatched this. Have I even swatched this, you guys? I don't think so. And honestly, <laughs> it's like the only, I would probably use these two and that's it. So yeah, brand new palette. I've had it for a long time. It doesn't stink or anything. So, you know, I'll give it away. If somebody, you know, doesn't like it or doesn't use it, then they can declutter it from their collection. But it's time for her to go. I can't keep holding on to this just for the sake of having her. It's a waste of space, so she's gotta go. And lastly, you guys, drum roll. <laughs> My glam light burger, okay? I don't think I would ever get rid of this. Honestly, I thought I would like depot it or something so I can keep the shades and you know, the packaging is cute, it's nostalgic, you know, all of their stuff is so super cute, but honey, I'm so tired of looking at this burger, I don't know what to do, okay? So, yeah, it's, when I look at the shades, they're pretty, but to me, they're not worth me taking my time and energy to try and depot this and, and take these shadows out and break them up and bust them up. It's not worth the energy, honey, it's not. I have these colors and other palettes. No, so I'm not gonna waste my time, but this is what the burger looks like, just in case you have never seen it. Very cute, very pretty, 
but I'm sick of it. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of it taking up space. So it's gotta go. Toodles. Okay. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. I only have three maybes. I have the Ciate London, which I said you guys let me know down below if you've used it. If you like it, then I'll keep it. The Frida Kahlo sentimental okay it just makes me think of spending hours and hours on end researching so I could write my papers for school <laughs> it's just hard for me to get rid of it I just love the whole story about her and everything and then the two-faced natural love would y'all would y'all keep this I mean y'all understand right my daughter gave it to me for Mother's Day so Listen, okay, I'm doing good, okay? So let me count my palettes that I am decluttering. Hold, please. Okay, you guys, I counted 36, okay? 36 palettes. If I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know, okay? <laughs> but I counted 36 palettes that I am decluttering out of my collection, and I'm proud of myself, okay? I'm proud of myself so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me to talk about why I'm decluttering these palettes I don't think it's gonna be a while before I declutter again at least palettes I kind of been looking at my highlighters and blushes and stuff but I like all my stuff right now <laughs> so I feel good okay so hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day I hope you guys have a wonderful week or weekend whenever it is that you're watching this Thank you so much for checking it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that like button and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!